I'm Mike Rizzo. And I'm Brian Bonds. And we're from Bobo Touch. And you're listening to the PBR PBR Podcast. What's up, everybody? PBR Podcast, Mike Polano, Derek D, Dennis the Inter, Dennis! Woo! And your mic's not on mute. And sitting in on the B-side, we have Mike Rizzo and Brian Bonds from Bobo Touch, all the way from Brooklyn! Woo! Woo! What's up, Brooklyn guys? Stand yep. up! Yep. What Thank part you. of Brooklyn? Sorry, it's Bayside. <laughs> Right, where is it? Where? Bay Ridge. Bay Ridge. Bay Ridge. Bay, oh, Bayside, speaking, that's where speak, Zach Morris went to Speaking of school. Bayside, real quick. Oh, yeah. Uh, ongoing debate on, on PBR. You can hang out with, and, and please, gentlemen, from PBR. Gentlemen. Don't interject. Gentlemen and, and Derek. Or, so, oh, Go! shit. Oh, <laughs> thank you. That the other <laughs> thank you. Freudian slip, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you can hang out with any one cast member from Bayside High, from Saved by the Bell. Who is it? Kelly Kapowski. Oh man, that's what I'm. Yeah, gonna say. definitely. Right, like yeah. that's the answer, who, man. Who's, who said uh, Screech? Someone said, <laughs> Someone said, uh, said Screech. Uh, Neil from Dark Angels and Pretty Freak said Screech. <laughs> Screech. Right, that's... and then somebody said Zach Morris. A, a dude said Zach Morris. And I'm like, uh, I don't get. I don't get. I, I mean, wouldn't hang out with Zach. The only reason you should hang out with Zach Morris is because he's got good connects, probably. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> really that's <laughs> well it. networked. But you right. need more than that. He'll get the life. ladies too. I mean, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. But uh, I can hang out with Jesse Spano a little bit. She's so excited. Yeah, uh, yeah no, no, she just about can't hide it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. That's true. That's, That's true. Yeah. She's yeah. tall, though. That's true. She got addicted to caffeine pills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That, that is from an episode of Say by the Bell. That is from an and episode. And she cries into Slater's hand, right? No, so, no. Zach. 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 Of course, Zach goes to help her. Couldn't time out on the addiction. Yeah. She, she, she had was, too much energy. Exactly. <laughs> she, was, she was a fantastic actress. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Definitely. Showgirls. I think somebody also said Mr. Belding at one point. I wow. See, that's that would, another one. Yeah, yeah that, that would actually be pretty of, interesting. Know, he could be okay to chill with to get you out of trouble. You know, like if he <laughs> Mr. knew Mr. Belding today looks like he <laughs> ate Mr. Belding from back in the day. He's, yeah. he's massive. He got a little he swole. He's yeah. really big. A little puffy. You yeah. saw him on the the, the Jimmy Fallon. Um, they did the oh, whole, yeah. which was great. Yeah, but that was Belding, I was like, whoa. Yeah, that was intense. Who was <laughs> missing? <laughs> and Kelly was missing. I cry. Wow. No, no, Kelly was She was She was not Kelly. Who was missing? Lisa Turtle. I remember one missing. And Screech was a guest of the state. Yeah, that was it. Oh, he was already in jail for. He was in jail for stabbing that guy. uh, This is uh, this is sixty percent. But uh, we had him booked on the show right before that happened. He was going to come on. Yeah, that's awesome. Sixty percent of good. accurate percent. The percent sign in front. <laughs> percent sixty. Do you think I ask him that question? What does he say? He probably says screech. He probably says fuck them all. <laughs> really? He wrote a book. I read some of it. You can't read. I, I can. <laughs> I read- all right, your mic's muted. Anyway, let's get to our guests. Uh, so, so uh, Mike and Brian, thank you so much for coming down. Uh, thank you for having us. Yeah. I, I guess basically it was a a, a transit nightmare today. It was, yeah. Well, I had to leave work a little early, you know, uh, and uh, the train was just, you know, usually I come right out, get the end trains, express, right, yeah. four or five stops at Bay Ridge, and uh, it, you know, there was no train for a while. Everyone's rowdy and, and crowding, and then the train does come, and then it was uh, an R local, and that was what I was forced to get on. Uh, and I had to go meet Brian, and uh, he needed to be relieved from uh, being a daddy. Yeah, being a child. <laughs> and, uh, that's yeah. that's <laughs> kind of how it happened. Today. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, my wife was on a train, a few trains behind him and dealt with the same same shit. And you know, to be honest, I haven't seen those kind of delays in probably a few weeks, you know, or months. Like, it hasn't been that bad. The mm-hmm. trains have actually been, I don't know, in my opinion, moving fast. Yeah, it's usually pretty, like, you know, spot on. You but uh, sometimes you get on a train and you got to get somewhere and... Uh, you know, shit happens. It's right know, when you need to be somewhere. Oh, it's yeah. It always like, happens. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Fuck everyone. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You bing bong. Yeah. And we didn't want to be late for you guys. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. no I don't worry. Be on time. Yeah. It's a podcast. It starts yeah. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, you know. You guys got, like, those are your real names, right? Like Frank Rizzo and Brian yeah, and Bonds. Well, it's Mike yeah, Rizzo. Mike Rizzo. Well, yeah. well, Frank is fine. Oh, I'm thinking Frank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for the jerky boy. I'm thinking of the jerky Well, no. I, isn't, I, that, isn't that the, the nickname for Mike? Frank? <laughs> that's Frank. That's fine. I, I like but Frank. No. That's fine. <laughs> that's what I meant. But, but those are, that's not. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. Mike Be, Rizzo, but Brian Bonds. Brian Bonds. Is a, is a stage name. Oh, okay. And, it, 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 and my middle name is Brian, and my last name 
uh, the bonds comes from my mom calling me bonbon bon, like the chocolate covered bonbon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she used to pit me out. No, 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 I'm kidding. But she she uh, she would call me that, and my friends would call me Bonds. So oh, that's cool. Yeah, hey, man, it's a solid name though. It's a solid like it's like good, good like even oh, your natural name is yeah, that's a yeah. sick. That's yeah. a sick thank name. You, thank you. <laughs> but your, dad, I do get- your dad's name Frank? No, it's Mike Rizzo too. Oh, okay, yeah. He's Mike Rizzo too. Yeah, you I'm, should be I'm Mike Rizzo. Mike Rizzo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I know. That's, true. That's what I'm saying. It's Rizzo so too. weird. I don't know. Parents but yeah, messed that one up. I got a question for them though. Go ahead, man. Yeah. Right, you here. guys ready? Here's a question. Yeah. What's the story with the Chinese food <laughs> that I left on the table? Oh, What's the story with the Chinese God. food that I left I on love, the table? I love that this is your lead-in. That's beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, that video is crazy. It is crazy. Be- yeah. <laughs> before you before you get into that, real real quick, uh, w- let's where can people stalk you so they can check out your stuff? I'd like to do that at the beginning of the episode. So you know, people sometimes listen online and they like to Google some shit. Sure. Where can they, where can they find your stuff? Bobotouch.com. Yeah, and we're on all the social. And we're channels, all Bobo Touch, Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter, everything. Yeah, uh, Facebook. Yeah, and it's all under Bobo Touch. Yeah. So what is with all the Chinese food on, that's on my table? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so I'll let you. St- Kick off that. That video is crazy. The dude like yeah. comes flying out of the Chinese food. Yeah, that's, that's our bass player from, from from the band we played in, and we put him in that garb and put him in front of a green screen, Looked like Bruce Leroy. And, exactly. And, and the girl in the video, he totally looks like Bruce Leroy. <laughs> great that's re- such a good reference. Great reference. Yeah. And the girl in the video, the Spanish girl, she is one of Mike's old, old, old girlfriend's cousins, and she she Through, just like, agreed. To Agreed. Do I'll do this. I'm and like, okay, we made we bought like you know fifty dollars worth of Chinese food, and we told her to throw it around in the house and like be really gross and <laughs> you know act like a slob. And we filmed it, and then uh, you know we had our friends make some cameos in it. We have Kevin Devine in there and Jesse from Brand New flying around. We have our friend Victor looking weird. I think my brother's doing something strange. Yeah, there. I think everyone has a cameo. But uh, but you know a lot of the fans of those guys in the band they couldn't understand why this. <laughs> video was even made and for yeah. us this was sort of this thing we did hanging around in our house just with a few things like sessions and garage band at the time and uh, you know i started to sing this like riff like what's the story about the chinese food <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was all a joke yeah. essentially and we're like but, we have know, to do this video like, but on the it... bruce leroy tip it's kind of touching on how that movie and just those kind of movies and that culture of like those like other ethnicities mocking sort of or wanting to be that like cool karate <laughs> Asian, yeah. you know. Who's the master? <laughs> Show enough. Yes. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Also, a little little trivia on that one is that Jesse Lacey came to my apartment without his uh, oh, yeah, he sandals. Barefoot. He came barefoot, and apparently he just was like, yeah, I don't know where my sandals are. It's an ongoing thing. Like, why is he coming to our apartment without shoes? And, J- and, and Jay and Miller was, was there, too. Yeah, it was like everyone, Jay Miller. Yeah, it was yeah, like it was a, a Kevin Devine. We were just shooting in my mom's apartment. Yeah, it was pretty. It, it, I just watched it. I was like, what is going on here? But that hook is just in my head. It just sticks in your head. <laughs> yeah. It's got that same, like, 1-800. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get stuck in there. Oh, that's good then. Speaking of Kevin Devine, man, like uh, Mike, a lot of people might not know this. Uh, aside from Bobo Touch, you're also an editor. Yes, uh, I'm an editor. I work in TV, mm-hmm. uh, TV commercials. What does TV stand for? <laughs> oh, Television, oh. which is oh. dying. What are you gonna? Yeah, I was gonna say, what <laughs> yeah. are you gonna do when TV goes? I'm gonna away? work for you guys. <laughs> 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 internet, <laughs> YouTube. Yeah. He wants to work I want to be internet. working for the internet. I want to get into that too, man, in a minute. But like, you know, the, the revolution of, of that industry, television. Yeah. But you, you brought up Kevin Devine. He was in Some Guys Are Bigger Than Others. Um, no, he was, uh, not was in it? some guys, um, no, no, not Kevin Devine. He, uh, we did music videos for Kevin Devine. Oh, okay. But Kevin Devine, um, who's the third cat in some guys, Kevin man? Devlin. Oh, Kevin so, Devlin. Um, so, yeah, yeah. So, everything Kevin I Devlin. say on the show, just right off the bat, similar 60% names. of it, right. 60% but it's of so it similar. Well, percentage sign in the front. Hey, right. I'm totally, <laughs> yeah, it's cause I have a speech impediment. Basically, I'm just stupid. It's all good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 so... But uh, some guys are bigger than others, which you yeah. edited. Yes, which was a film by Jeff Sellis. We we met actually at the premiere. Exactly, party. that's where we met. And uh, it just won that was best your comedy, cute. right? Yeah, it actually we um, yeah it screened Saturday this past Saturday um, at the New York Downtown Film Festival, and it was a four nights of screening of all different genres, dramas, and animated like comedies, just, like, wide range of stuff. And yeah, we won. That's great, man! Best comedy. Yeah, thank that's you. And that's Jeff, awesome, man. Jeff is stoked, and he was in New Orleans at the time. He couldn't yeah, made it, but bastard. he was definitely psyched. I, I was supposed to be with him, but I wasn't yeah. because I'm here. You're going to go to New Orleans? Yeah. yeah. Hi, Jay. But that's neither here nor there. It's not what we're talking about <laughs> yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, so you like to, uh, 
you, you, so you, you know, basically, you're behind the camera. Yeah, I'm always behind the camera. And now and with bubble touch, yeah, in front. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 been our outlet since we were kids. I mean, we yeah. started doing these things. We we remade the Crow with yeah. Brandon Lee, like shot oh. for shot, when we were like 14. Really? Yeah, we were so well, yeah. Thankfully, that thankfully, movie. did not remake the Crow for yeah. two shot for shot. Well, well there was the a third guy. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> oh yeah, you Crow, mean yeah, one, yeah. one shot? It was one yeah. shot. Yeah, that's true. Oh man, rest yeah. in peace, Brandon Lee. You know, you know what point? Yeah, I shouldn't be laughing. But they're remaking The Crow, actually, right now. Blasphemy. Yeah, the, the, I don't know. I forget yeah. who's playing. But uh, we tried to remake The we Crow did. with two crows, two actors, Mike Rizzo being The Crow in the first half of the movie and me <laughs> yeah. being The Crow in the second half of the movie. Because we both wanted to be it so bad. And we counted the scenes, how many scenes The Crow was in in the movie, and we sort of div you know divided up. You know, <laughs> If it's a back shot, it could be any one of us. And then we did the shot with this, <laughs> this, this black kid in our building who played Tin Tin and, <laughs> and he caught the knife. He was really good at knife catching. He but was. We got, <laughs> we, I'm not kidding. He was good. We got those knives that they sold in those Halloween stores that you could put in. And, oh, you know, yeah, yeah. It sort of goes inside. What are the... I mean... Yeah. yeah. Prop but, knife. I don't yeah. know. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, but I heard that Ernie Hudson was available for your project. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's totally, good he was able yeah. to reprise that role. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, <laughs> he's always looking for work. I love him. <laughs> I love him. Though. Did you I, find a skank who yeah. played skank? Oh well, no, <laughs> he's skank. That was probably someone's ex girlfriend at the time. I'm sure. Um, Skanks, oh my God. yeah, we've been doing. You've been doing film. Yeah. So I think that's yeah. how we got into it because we would just film each other. You know, we had access to cameras like camcorders and stuff, and we would just go out around our building in Bay Ridge and just film stuff. I love how you you uh, like the underlying themes to you redoing Crow, but both of you acting in it because you know Brand they had to replace Brandon in the Crow too. <laughs> that is that is <laughs> that's yeah. True. You know, is that that had nothing to do with it? You sick bastards. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh man, you hate you hate the Lee family. <laughs> Where can we see? Is this out? Can we see well, this? No, we. I think there's some footage. Do you there's have some it? footage, but oh, we you didn't finish it. No, 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 we were thinking about maybe finishing it now. Yeah, we might finish it now. <laughs> like, you guys be grown ups. Yeah. Oh wait, you shot this when you were kids. I completely missed yeah, that part. Yeah, of we were like fourteen. Sixty percent. Yeah. 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 You know, you do just wherever you pick up where you guys left off, but as you are now, oh, yeah, great. Yeah. You're pretty good. Your hair's almost there, man. Yeah. I just gotta straighten it. Yeah. yeah. See, Derek. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's not just you. Sometimes what? I forget about things. What are you talking about? I don't. What do I forget about? Two episodes ago, we got halfway through the episode, and you stopped and looked at me and go, "Did you play the theme music yet?" <laughs> oh yeah, that's like the only time I could have sworn you didn't, and I, I stand by it. <laughs> what do you think? I just edited it in later? Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> that's not possible. I don't know. Is that possible? You no, can't just well, cut no, in yeah, music. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> it's real, we, we do this on reel to reel. Oh my God. It's a pain in the Yeah, it's all uh, tape, quarter inch tape. You yeah. got there, right? You know what I'm saying? This ain't digital. <laughs> So, uh, so Bobo Touch is that you guys started messing around when you were fourteen? But when does that actually come to become a comedy troupe? Uh, I guess well, right around the new year. Like, well, yeah, I guess like. Well, um, no, I mean, it, it goes back to the Chinese food. Chinese video. food video was Bobo Touch, um, but we were still under another group, Pax and Films. That was me, Brian, uh, my brother Jay Lacory, his brother Mike Strandberg, and Denny Moy. Yeah. So Paxton Films was our collective at the time that we did Ke Kevin Devine music videos, stuff for Jesse, live events, yeah, just all and you know just kind of a, a work for hire crew and also a creative group. Then we did the Chinese food video under Bobo Touch. Yeah, we just we we wanted to like just branch sort of, out. Yeah, and rebrand it as like uh, this could be anything. It could be a band. It could be a a music group. And it was uh, this like just really strange rap song. And I would play it a lot uh, on tour in the van and <laughs> you know they were you know the guys were like you guys got to make a video to this and i was like really and they were like yeah you got to make a video to this and and we did and then it was just like we had our, our friend chris brocco who's a music producer uh remix it and sort of like you know spruce it up but i guess that was the first project and then everybody sort of you know branched off on more tours more personal projects uh from Paxson to music to your you know you were really active with the tv stuff mm -hmm. and the bay riz campaign yeah so we all went our own ways and bobo touch was always there and then recently with the new year's video which was i guess just in december we were like we have to bring this back yeah from the right. Chinese food video. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. The, uh, 
What, what, how that how one go, that one go? The New Year's video. Uh, it was just like um, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of just all right. I forget. There's the really end. no hook to it. It's I love bizarre... how you guys don't know the. Well, what New was like the main? Oh, we're not we're not familiar with our own work. <laughs> I mean, well, what song was I that? Know. The New Year's one. How did that one go? Well, it, well, because that's the only one that doesn't actually have a hook. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's like it's I'm like talking don't... about the hipsters in our neighborhood. Oh, and don't right, drink yeah. and drive. You had a mustache on or something. Oh, that's the new that's one. That's that's the new one. That's texting and walking. But texting and walking. The first one we have just like New Year's. Don't drink and drive. Which is New Year's is just about. Short just, video. Yeah, just about like don't. But you're be, right. There's like no hook. We don't even. I don't even remember my verse. I'm like. We're talking about the interview, like the interview. Oh, an inside yeah, job. Yeah. Like just about current topics, and then don't drink and drive. And don't <laughs> right, be right. a dick. And be careful. <laughs> I, I like the uh, the flavor though. You you cut those. You added, yeah. All right. So I love how you just cho- you choose to put large text, just words. <laughs> over. Well, that was together. <laughs> we were like, we gotta like, ed- you know, how That's, do we make them learn like these tips? That's in like, a couple different videos though. Yeah, the subway one right, with like like how to, exactly. Exactly. That's true. D- d- yeah. When to come on and off the subway? The side. No, your yeah, yeah. uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Your large text in your videos is kind of you, that's your lens flare. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. That's your my J. lens flare. Abrams lens flare. <laughs> or my yeah, exactly. Or my pan and scan like yeah, yeah. Uh, Get you know, ten burns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's great. But yeah, I think it's kind of like right now is the Bobo Touch uh, staple. I would yeah. Because everyone says they love that. Like when walk, uh, don't you know text? If you're gonna text and walk, you know walk you know uh, text to the side. And like an arrow comes up, like it's so bad. Like go over there, you you know. Yeah. We always get a lot of comments about the text for sure. <laughs> where does the name Where does the name Bobo Touch come from? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Well, that's a good question. Uh, it kind of really originates from my dad. You know, when we were growing up, he was like, "Listen, make sure nobody touches your Bobo." <laughs> and we were like, okay. Yeah. You know, and it, really, it really stood with him. Yeah, strange lot. dudes by the pool. Also, like, everybody's got a bad association with Bobo the Clown, which, you know, I don't even know. There's like, you know, you can Wikipedia Bobo the Clown, yeah. but I don't even know what Bobo the Clown is, you know, or who he is. Yeah, and he's pretty freaky. I, I would say Bobo Touch, the name, uh, is just a mashup of words, but what it represents is is something that you don't want to touch and be away from, but that you want to talk about. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it, it, yeah, and it also could represent something crappy. Yeah, at the same something time, like bad, something bad, something bad. That it also, you when you look at it, it looks like it's a uh, like a creepy Irish guy named uh, Bob O'Touch. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Yeah. That's true. Bob, Stay Bob away O'Touch. from Bob O'Touch. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, actually a good character. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's your new. You character. might incorporate that. Exactly. Bob might be O'Touch. In your closet. <laughs> yeah. The good thing is he's only Bob an intern, O'Touch. so anything he says, you can just take it. Oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah. Keep it coming, then. Just name check. Yeah, thank you, Dennis the Intern. <laughs> the inspiration for the thi- Bob O'Touch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thing yeah. about it, too, I think you, uh, like, getting, you know, dot coms now is tough. So you get, like, a solid, like, like Bobo Touch is an easy thing to say. Yeah. It's, kind of int- it's kind of funny and weird, but it's like, you know, BoboTouch.com. You know, it's, instead yeah. of flows, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, because we lucked out because we were like, all right, we had. You, luck, either... you lucked out because BoboTouch.com wasn't taken? <laughs> oh, man, we were so lucky. <laughs> That's man. what I'm getting at. No one <laughs> has it. No one has it. Such a I mean, that's how lucky we are. Elon Musk is like, <laughs> we what are we were... going to name our next technology? <laughs> yeah. We're going to call it the Bobo Touch Register. <laughs> I mean, Who has it? Two guys from Brooklyn? <laughs> Damn it. We'll just have that's to call how, it the Tesla. That's how twisted we think. Oh, man, we're so lucky we got this. Yes. Yeah. High five and over Bobo Touch. But you know what? We do get that a lot. People are either freaked out don't understand it we get that question probably the most what is it i mean your name your name is clearly representative of your art though man like, okay sweet I, I bet i bet that uh a lot of people it takes them a minute or two to um to to get your comedy right so the, the mean, first question i think is, so yeah what's bobo touch and the second question is what are you doing here <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay yeah, uh, yeah no yeah. definitely well, yeah, I mean, it's also because aside from our these original videos that we're putting out, we're also trying to do, you know, ramp up a blog about music and comedy yeah. and promote friends and stuff. Like some guys, Jeff Sellis, Casey Jost, the people, mm-hmm. all of our friends just want to write about any music and comedy as well. That's awesome. So, That's yeah. good. Yeah, I, I just love the, um, like what I was trying to get at was like the, your, your, your rhythm, like your flavor, your vibe. Is, is, is it purposely... Um, I- irrhythmic is that the term? I I, I don't know because your voices sound like you. It's like the cadence. Your cadence. It put, it put like purposely a, say bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's deliberate. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that that is, but that's also got as an artist, man. That's got to yeah. be difficult to also perform because in nature, don't you want to be rhythmic? Don't you kind of want to go to a beat? And and your rapping is like, or, or I'm calling it rapping. Yeah. I don't know if you refer to it as that. Yeah. Is not. Uh, it's off. Is that's got to be hard. I right? would definitely say 
Rizzo's rapping is just I don't even know what time he raps in. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Your timing and, and, is and I sometimes his his rhymes are so good, but he he doesn't <laughs> think of them like like I don't know how he comes up with this stuff, you know. But yeah. it's gold material, but it's so bad. <laughs> and, and, no, it's true. And, and and it's not like you know. But what he's poking at, and even with me, I put definitely like I'll I'll up the pitch on my voice, and I'll definitely try to mock what he's doing. But what he's doing is so brilliant because he's not a singer but what we're poking at is that culture of like this serious like yo check it out here's my verse and or whatever it is or maybe it's like an 80s dance jam and it's not it's not a freestyle but we're poking at those those bands or those artists and those fans that also follow that culture and yeah. the, and I oh, love yeah. that and I think it's great you, but it, we don't want to take ourselves seriously yeah. when it comes to like being serious we're just Se- having serious fun. or not is impressive man because you put all like you put all of the words into one <laughs> spot like I don't know how you do it yeah, I can yeah. hardly speak the English language at this pace yeah. right now Thank you. and you like you know it's, it's impressive but I Thank like you. that you guys are I like that you guys are poking fun at that because you're right like so many rappers now they're just so terrible I don't know how these songs get mainstream and like like what, what's that song right now it's like look at it flick at her wrist Look at the flick of that wrist. Like, what yeah. the fuck? And is that's that? all it is, right? Like, right. Th- that's the, You're the antithesis of that. That's the song that the record company is like, yes. Yeah. And it's doing very well. Like, all the guys mainly saying the entire song is, look at the flick of that wrist. Yeah. And he's doing it like, look at the flick of that wrist. Look at the flick <laughs> yeah, of that yeah, wrist. That's insane. <laughs> what are like, you why doing? Is that that's it. And we're working on trying to get, look, we did the Chinese food. <laughs> Lift on my table. Exactly. Like, why isn't that a, a hit? I mean, yeah. That ain't you're right. Fair. It's the same yeah. science. <laughs> oh, man. It's crazy. I don't get it. But you guys are poking fun at it, and that's what's great. Yeah. Speaking of music, though, Brian, um, you're a musician songwriter, right? And the yeah. name of your band is? Uh, Brian Bonds and the Major Crimes. And the Major Crimes. You guys yeah. ever come into Major Crimes? We are. Uh, we got that that name inspired by the Wire. Uh, that show. That oh, um, I was show. so hoping Amazing. that you were going to be like, we got that. That name was inspired by the guy that my father was warning me. He <laughs> 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 said, "Yeah, the Bobo. That's exactly what <laughs> this is about. To Don't touch all the guy. Bobos. <laughs> That's the real story. <laughs> the Sorry. name really originates from a classic <laughs> crime from a few years ago in 1998. So it's not so much a band as <laughs> just working through some stuff. In yeah. 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 He's Almost through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, you know, we we went through different band names, and it's always kind of tough to do the like solo artists and the and uh, and that was just kind of a name. I was we were thinking about sort of renaming the band. We've kind of done it a few times, different guys in the band, and we were like, let's just change it to the Major Crimes. Previously to that, it was called the Dot Hongs, which is our friend Dorothy <laughs> Hong. But all the clubs when we showed up, it would say Hot Dongs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so it just yeah, sounds like right. a fucking crazy like. And that was the band. That was when I was playing in the band yeah, with him. Yeah. You're gonna get a big so crowd. Though. I was a well, hot that's dog. brilliant. It's like yeah. uh, uh, PCU, right? Uh, tonight at the pit, everyone, everyone gets, gets laid. laid. Yeah, right? or like that. Yeah. There's that like, the uh, the urban legend band, like you know, oh nickel beers was always one. Oh or, yeah, or five <laughs> cent wings <laughs> tonight. Five yeah. cent wings. Hey, let's go there. Just some. Penny pitch, it's right. brilliant, man. Penny marquee. pitchers. You got to play that marquee, man. <laughs> yeah, right. You now you got to get clever on social media. Back then you had to get something. No, it's yeah. To physically get somebody in yeah. the room, man. Social media was what you put on the marquee outside the bar. <laughs> I, I want to. I want to do something real quick that we've never done on the show. Right now, give me the song that you want me to play. I'm going to cut it in right here uh, on this episode, so people don't really have to go search. They're going to. Oh, gonna uh, right we'll now. do texting and walking. Well, so, intro it, and we'll cut to it. So yeah, this is our uh, our latest piece, uh, texting and walking, about just um, you know being smarter out there in New York City because we both encountered people uh, running into us and just people who block stairways to subway entrances and uh, thing like that. Things like that. Phone zombies. Phone zombies Phone and zombies that. That also are in that new territory of the new Williamsburg, yes. of the new development uh, of condos, overpriced, and the futuristic overpriced stuff going on. You know, studios being overpriced. The 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 sense of moving into this city and not searching uh, for the real New York and being maybe entitled. And now I I, I see it. When you go there, because it doesn't feel like the way the old Williamsburg used to be. Some of these older clubs are starting to close down. They can't even afford it. The Brooklyn Brewery building is being sold, and I think they're taking that over. So 
it's uh, sort of touching base on what's happening there, but also really with like the, that that culture of uh, uh, those people who are buried on their phones, which is everybody. I mean, I walk and I try trip on my fucking phone. <laughs> yeah, you know, I look. We around. all do it. We all do it. So, and I mean, also everybody acts like a jerk off, very much like hipsters at times. And so, uh, nobody's perfect, but that's what this sort of yeah. video is about, and and uh, focusing on that. All right. Well, let's let's hear it. And we're back. <laughs> but, uh, Go ahead, we're back. <laughs> but I get exactly what you're saying. Like, I, I, that's great. I, 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 I'm going to leave all that in. I'm not awesome. even gonna, I don't think that's, we can play the song. That's actually how it should be. <laughs> yeah. That would be awesome. Right? We'll play it at the end. If I don't, if I choose not to cut it, in, it for it'll second, be at the like, end of this episode. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. Was, it's so true, though. Like, that was awesome, guys. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I work in the city, too, and I, I'm, I'm guilty of walking and texting, but you're right. Like... Like, I, I totally get what you're saying about, especially in Williamsburg, it's like you know, the hipster entitlement thing, and it's like, ah, oh, I get exactly what you're saying. I'm just, I, I hear you. Yeah, and we just like <laughs> our, also just like our message is just be real, you know, yeah. it's, yeah. it's, main, it's a main thing, and we're, totally. you know, because we're from here, so we've seen a lot of change, and we have friends yeah. that live there, or family that are from Williamsburg, and so yeah. Yeah, that was kind of what we were going at. I try not to text and walk, but it's sometimes it's usually if I like need to text, like it's, something kind of important. Dude, yeah. it's out of control, man. It's it's completely out of control. It's not just it's, the texting and walking, but it's the phone in general. Like there needs to be a class taught in school about etiquette. Agreed. Yeah. Cell phone, social etiquette, media etiquette. Yeah, or when man. you're at dinner and everyone's down on their phone like that, or you see terrible. the kid on the iPad and they're like, ah, you know? oh yeah, you look at the you look at the you look, yeah. at, the, uh, you look at the table with like. The mom, the dad, and the three kids, all three kids are iPad yeah, it's phones. It's so like, bad. It's like, that's no good, man. My, I, I have a niece, um, and she is she's stuck in in the device. Like, she is a zombie to the device to the point where I, I, I came in the house the other day, her house. She was eating breakfast. I took myself. I said hello to her. Nothing. She's in the device. Like, she didn't even know I was in the room, right? I, I walk around in front of her, and I take my cell phone out. I put it on video, and I slowly bring it up and I start I filmed her for like five minutes before she realized I was filming her mm. that's crazy <laughs> that's scary man yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> not good my yeah. family has a restaurant and I have to work there because it's my family's restaurant so I don't handle people at the counter until they get off their phones and I just I, I just it's not it's not anything I just I, I know they're in the middle of a conversation so I'm always like well I'll just let you finish your conversation because I hate to like talk yeah Bill uh huh yeah, oh, yeah. Right. can I get a slice uh huh yeah Bill no pepperoni no I don't want and pepperoni that also Bill just wants pepperoni slows everyone else down. just slows it yeah. all down. It slows it's everything rude. it's, it's rude. really rude Dennis do they pay you at that job of course not <laughs> <laughs> good because we don't family's either. restaurant <laughs> what do you, where do you get money I, I got I got ways. <laughs> 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 Uh, the word the delivers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How about when you're driving down the street and you pass a cop and the cops on the phone? Seen it, yeah. yeah. All time, or also man. too when they're texting or on their phones too in the street. Or when they're lot. shooting their wives eight times, nine times. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I don't know how many times it was, but it was. A, yeah. It was, you heard about that? Uh, kinda. You know where that's right over here. You know what happened? Was it <laughs> right there? No. Right, yeah, right over there. Yeah. Really? Asbury. Yeah. Can we go there later afterwards? And like, <laughs> see the walking <laughs> tour of police yeah, violence. Yeah. Guys, give us a tour. Reenacted and have brought a wig. We talked about it. We talked about on the. Side a little bit, man. I saw that happening on Facebook, right? Oh. You know what I mean? You work at TV. Like, yeah, yeah. It, it's we talk about this a lot. So, what's your point of view on this? Uh, social media breaking news, like instant. Well, I feel like it's it's way quicker than any other news source. I mean, if someone's there and they're posting it, is that what you mean? Like, yeah, the, imme the immediacy of it. I, wa I don't know who these people were, but they were filming it on Facebook, and everybody in the world is sharing it, especially in the area in which it happened. Yeah, you know. So you're seeing these videos, and you're watching this dude shoot his wife. That's the uh, that's crazy. Sound weird, that's nuts, the man. good part about that is that we can get that information from a lot of different areas very, very quickly. The bad part is when you see guys and, and girls do the uh, the tragedy selfies, where oh, there was that, that really building bad. that went down. Was it in Brooklyn? That building went down, and, like, and people East like village. taking oh, popping, yeah. Yeah, these villagers popping selfies in front of like. That's really bad. It's like yeah, your your hard. photo op is my tragedy. Thank yeah. You. What about like the the fact that do you think government freaks out about it because they can't control it, they can't spin it? You can't put spin on that story. We all saw it happen on Facebook, right? Right. How do you spin it? Yeah. I think it's, in that sense, it's good that it doesn't get spun. You know, it's 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 you're seeing what's it's happening. It's always well, good it's that it just, doesn't get yeah, spun. Yeah, like you know full what I mean? Transparency. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yes, the Zapruder film, they were able to spin that. 1960 something when Zapruder took the film. All right, you, yeah, you just bring muted, I just muted this microphone. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, he started like a three class. <laughs> right? Who's the kid in college? <laughs> yeah. You know I, mean? I did my essay on it. Here's my textbook. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I, I play this music and I see your face and I want to vomit. Oh. I'm talking. <laughs> oh my god. I'm kidding. Uh, you guys know what that sound is? That's a that's the sound of the game we like to play. It's called top or bottom. All right. All right. I'm gonna read you uh, two terms. You're gonna tell me which one is on top, which one is on the bottom. We're gonna round table it. It's tailored towards you. Mike, we'll start with you and we'll okay. go from there. Should we let Dennis play? Uh, bottom. <laughs> all right, yeah. that's top or bottom. Yeah, well played. Know. Well played. Yeah. All right. Can you just do me a favor, real yeah. quick? Can you just yell at him? Yell, just yell his name. Dennis. No, you got oh, it from man. your gut. Oh, like real? Yeah. yeah. Like, Dennis. <laughs> Probably you want to try him? Dennis. There you go. That's pretty good. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's more good. of an explosion. <laughs> is, it, is everybody's ego scared? So Mike, <laughs> Mike, show him how it's done. No. All right. All right. My, my, <laughs> you don't tell Mike what to do. Yeah, you do. don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Mike, tell him how to do it. <laughs> Mike Rizzo, yeah. top or bottom, Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts? Uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Why? Uh, I like the coffee better, and uh, I'm addicted to those, that, that like, bad, frosted, sprinkly toppings. Speaking of sprinkles, <laughs> let me ask you a question. There you go. Sprinkly you go topping. To, this, is, this is legit, okay? You go to get ice cream. You order a soft vanilla ice cream. The woman looks at you. Would you like sprinkles on that? Yes, I would. Which kind? Colored sprinkles. She, what, color, what kind of sprinkles does she give you? Mm. Uh, it should be multicolored, like mixed. It should be, right? Yeah. <laughs> What's your reaction when it comes back and there's chocolate sprinkles on it? <laughs> oh, that's not good. I, I wouldn't. I would. I'm not into that. That happened to me. That's the not other good. Day. That's a you preference. Racist yeah. ice cream. I asked for colored sprinkles and she gave me chocolate sprinkles. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> racist ice cream lady. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, top or bottom? Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts? Uh, Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> All right, so the game is one on the top, one on the bottom. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rethink that. I like Starbucks because I like to get a red eye. You know what that is? That's a shot of espresso and a cup of coffee. Am I playing the game right? Sure, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm just making sure. You're a he looks flopper, so, but that's he fine. looks so confused. Well, you <laughs> know what? I don't like Dunkin' Donuts. They have shit coffee. Oh, that's great. So Starbucks but is I on top. I kind of like the yeah, shit listen, coffee. That's I also weird. think Starbucks doesn't have the best coffee, but they have some strong stuff. One time I went in there and I was totally sleep deprived after being a dad for a week, and I was like, "Give me the strongest shit you have," and they gave me four shots on ice, Ooh. and I was just like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> "I'm not like that type of person," but. I, I, I think they have better quality coffee at Starbucks. Dennis. Couldn't disagree with you more. Dunkin' Donuts on the top. Starbucks yeah. just tastes like burned coffee. I'm with you, Dennis. Thank you. Me uh, and Dennis. Ride with me. I don't drink coffee, so um, oh, oh, I man, will go out. Dunkin' Donuts on top because when I do eat donuts, they're good there. That's true. And Starbucks makes has weird names for things. and They do. And I go in there yeah. and like want tea, and they gotta, I got to ask like 47 different names. I, Dunkin' Donuts on top, Starbucks on the bottom. Yeah, I, I gotta say Dunkin' Donuts on top. I, I don't really. I, if I'm gonna, I'm a 7-Eleven coffee guy. To be honest with you, I, like, I love 7-Eleven coffee. I'm with that. Uh, Starbucks, I hate. I think it's just like a. I can't wait for it to die. The fad to be over. Hey oh. man, I'm the only herb in this crew. <laughs> <laughs> I also hate when people call sprinkles Jimmies. Jimmies. That's a very oh. South Jersey thing, man. What do you guys call them? Uh, I have never heard of Jimmies. Yeah. I just say really? sprinkles. Yeah. Sprinkles. yeah. Well, I, I say sprinkles, but yeah, people call them Jimmies. Yeah. 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 Jimmies are South Jersey thing. Well, you yeah. guys are weird out here. <laughs> we're not South Jersey. No, we're we're we're, we're, we're sprinkles. No, no, <laughs> no. Uh, top or bottom, Bush or Trump? Oh my God! Really? Yeah, really. Come on, man. I threw it right at you. I'm gonna say Trump because I hate Bush. What do you mean by that? <laughs> we Just all hate Bush. Bush. Is the worst, worst man imaginable. Could you imagine though? Trump many can't... vacations. Yeah, I mean Trump. They're both evil. They're both terrible. We're screwed. I, I, we talked about this on the <laughs> I mean, We're totally screwed. Yeah, I don't even know. Can I just not answer that? Uh, no. You got to kind of pick one. <laughs> I would say Trump. Trump on top. Yeah. Okay. Even though I don't want to, but yeah. Brian. I think Trump on top. You know, he sucks, but I feel like he's got that celebrity value. And, and a, a weird, of, good hair piece. A lot of people yeah. are, I don't know. I don't know. He might have this different perspective on shit. I have no idea. I haven't seen him talk yet. You know yeah. what? But the world is in a, in, a, in a weird place right now, and it's not an easy job to be president. Yeah. I, think, I think he's good. I think he, he could win because of his celebrity status. But yeah. then the other thing that pops into my mind is you want to elect a man president that wears a hair piece. No, it's right? actually not a hair oh, piece. Well, just, just, it just, looks like one. It's a terrible comb over. <laughs> well, well, whatever. Terrible Say comb it how you want it. Like, that's an issue in my world. <laughs> You know? And then, sure. and then, maybe you're right, dude. Maybe he is the guy we need to elect. 
Yeah, he's, he's a good businessman. He's, he's the new yeah. Ronald Reagan. I, there you well, go. Well, Ronald Reagan was a talented actor. It's, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Trump is. Uh, but he had the apprentice. You're He'd fired. be like, "You're yeah. off my staff." You're yeah. Fired. Exactly. Yeah. 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 He said. He said. He said. Uh, he said, "ISIS. I'm going to take care of ISIS, but I have great golf courses. Like, how can I elect him?" <laughs> wow. Same breath. <laughs> well, hey, that's uh, crazy. That, I didn't know <laughs> that's that. That's you insane. need both. You do. You need to take you care of I- ISIS, and you need good golf. Uh, uh, think about it. Let's, let's kill ISIS and have good golf oh. courses in America. <laughs> oh my God. That is- Can I say Rand Paul? <laughs> Am I allowed to? No, no. Derek D. <laughs> no, <go ahead. laughs> if I have Off. to pick between the two, I. Jeb. Jeb Bush? Yeah, he's an experience. He's a new Bush. He's a new. The new Bush. <laughs> look, look, did you like new Coke? No. No, you didn't. They stopped making it. You wanted the regular Coke, Coke Classic. Right? That would be George. I can w. see how that <laughs> <laughs> relates to politics. Thank you. Exactly, that's everything I need to know right there. <laughs> that'd be the very first Bush. That'd be that'd be Bush Senior. Isn't the first Bush always the best? <laughs> let's let's oh. just break it down. He's in a wheelchair now, right? It doesn't he matter. Might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the original. <laughs> he's he the OG out of a plane the like for his birthday two years ago. Oh yeah, that's right. He, he sky dove. Um, wow. I don't know. Yeah, that's a very tough one. Um, Jeb Bush is you know been governor of Florida for a long time. Yeah. I think he's done okay down there. He's really? Like, he's They can't count ballots. He's got experience in politics, though, Trump. Yeah, miscounting but Trump, ballots. But then Trump's a good businessman, I think. Yeah. Uh, he has a lot of money. Uh, Trump Casino Hotel in Atlantic City just closed. <laughs> mm. I don't know. I guess Jeb just, on just top. I'm yeah. just throwing it out I guess there. Jeb on top, Trump on the bottom. Like what the does it matter? top yeah. or bottom <laughs> ever. It is, right? Yeah, man. It is, right? I, I'm not going to answer it. Top or bottom number three? Oh, bullshit. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Trump. All right, fine. Right? Because I want him to say this to me. Because you want new Coke. You're fired. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> number three, sh- uh, short film or featured film? Oh. Um, in what context? Uh, which do you like better um, overall? Uh, I would say short film. Short film because I work on short films and I enjoy them. I think there's really no market for them, unfortunately, but I enjoy short films just because uh, I think you could do a lot with it. It's a nice format, even though, you know, it's a tough format, but I just I, I just like the short film genre. Right on. Yeah. I'm going to go with featured film. Got a lot of favorite movies, really connect with them. It's always cool to see how shit pans out. <laughs> <laughs> nice answer. <laughs> Dennis! <laughs> Dennis is going feature film. And I, I like your reasoning. I'm going to stick with what you said. I want to see... How shit pans out. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I like, uh, not to sell short film short, <laughs> because <laughs> nice they do actually fun. a lot of good ones. You know, they go to, they go to film festivals. Well, yeah, like think about up, Whiplash was a short film. Yeah, and, and then, you ends know. up becoming a feature. Yeah, exactly. So I guess the goal is Pixels. to be a feature eventually. So yeah. feature film on top, short film on the bottom. Yeah. But nice. not, nothing against it. I yeah. do enjoy short film. I think short film has has a has a place, man. I do, especially with the way technology is going. But if you look at things like um, Black Mirror. On yeah. Netflix, right? Yeah. Have, you seen, have you guys seen this? Yeah, yeah it's a great show. It's Black amazing. Mirror is like a British version. You turned me on to that. Twilight Zone, Twilight yeah. Zone right? It's crazy. But it's oh, essentially it. a it's modern day. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's really it's good. Up. Would you not say, or would you not kind of argue that they're short films right. and they're just put into a se- yeah, series? Yeah, kind of put into Based. a series format. Yeah, it is. What I mean, an hour long, right? Yeah, I yeah. Think, and there's yeah. only there's not that yeah, many of them. I, I, like I don't short. know if they they might be thirty minutes. What's yeah. called Black Forty? Black, Black Mirror. Mirror. It's yeah. trippy, and it's all based around technology, right? It's they crazy. all in some way yeah, based around technology. It makes you think about like that we're not that far off with some of this type of shit they're touching oh, base with. Yeah, yeah. It, it it freaks. I mean, I could go on about that show for an yeah. hour, but yeah, it. Uh, it's it's good stuff, but it's also freaky to be like, oh, I gotta okay. check it out. Yeah, you know? I haven't even seen it on that. Like, yeah, you got. Oh, you know what? It might be. I think they just took it off. They might have just taken it off. But you should check it out if you can. Uh, I'm gonna say short film on top. You know, nice. I kind of for those reasons, I dig it. Uh, number four, texting and talking, or stinker tinker time. Whoa. Do you need explanation on stinker tinker time? I kind of do. You ever uh, take a number two and pull oh, out your cell phone? Oh, man. I mean, uh, I do some of my best work there. I'm going to say stinker tinker time. Wow, <laughs> That's a good time. It is, right? Yeah. I like how you explained it, too. Well, you know. Yeah, it how would you have explained it? No, it was perfect, man. Explain, explain it to Brian. <laughs> I want to hear how you Everyone do. does it. Break it down, man. Yeah, man. When you're it on does, the, you know. Does anyone here it's valuable not, time. Does anyone here not do stinker tinker time? Let's be honest. No, yeah, you flip through your phone and then you're taking a shit. Yeah. It's a, it's a tragedy when you go into the bathroom and you forget your phone. Oh, and my God. You start reading shampoo bottles. Totally, totally. <laughs> start thinking. <laughs> Those long ass me. words <laughs> on the shampoo <laughs> bottles. <laughs> Floral <laughs> sulfate. Mm, that sounds like good <laughs> stuff. Oh so, question. You're stinker tinkering. Right. You're done. Okay. Where do you put the phone? 
ledge. Yeah. yeah. I find the ledge usually. Yeah. yeah. The edge of the sink, there's like a yeah, <laughs> some something. sort of little whatever's near. Sometimes on the side of the uh, tub. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then, then you wash your hands. You play a dangerous game. Pick yeah, well, a tub could drop in, yeah. man. Yeah. Well, phones are disgusting. And we all, you know, <laughs> don't, you shouldn't touch anybody else's phone. It's, no else it's super disgusting. I was thinking about it the other day. Like, you pick up your phone after anything, man. It's like you won't even think about it. You scratch your balls, pick it up. <laughs> Rubbing your <laughs> fingers all over yeah. every yeah. part of it. Oh, shit, somebody's calling me. What's up, man? Uh, yeah, uh, when's the last time you cleaned your phone? Like, they don't make a product that's ready. I clean mine weekly. <laughs> with <Windex>. what? <laughs> Windex. You can do it with Windex, no. yeah. But I Windex on a paper towel, Windex kills everything. You ever spray? You ever spray Windex on an ant? It's immediate death. Like boom. Like Dennis, the, the, the ant, will be, the ant will be like walking real fast. The the second, what if you spray it on Dennis? He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dead. I spray Windex, you're dead. Oh. <laughs> when will they put a label on this shit? <laughs> yeah. Top or bottom? Um, I stick or ticker time. Definitely. Yeah, I'd say that. I mean, all the way around. Texting walking, than walking and texting. It's not a comfortable thing. You have yeah, to look forward. You might walk little, into it. Yeah. yeah. If I see somebody texting and walking, and I, and I I catch them, and we're going towards each other, I purposely do not move and I keep going, <laughs> and I want them to either bump into me like an asshole, or at the last minute do this, you know, the look up and st- side. Qu- quick story: texting and walking. I was coming back from Bar A last summer or two summers ago, and uh, at night. And I'm like drunk, and I'm, but I'm not like retarded drunk. But when you're looking at a bright phone and it's dark out, everything else is dark. D- I'm sorry, I you're w- how old? Don't worry about it. No, how old are you? Uh, roughly over 21. Yeah, grown ass man. <laughs> yeah, you you have the right to imbibe alcohol on your own time. Yeah, because you're an American. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just checking. Go. Continue. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I'm American and freedom of speech, all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um. So you know when the phone's real bright. So I was looking down on my phone, texting probably a chick, and um. I walked right into a tr- like a, a trailer <laughs> Good. and oh. blasted my both my shins, one worse than the other, blood spilling oh. down. Destroy- a cop was right there. He was like, are you all right? I'm like, I'm fine, man. I don't want him to give me like public drunkenness or anything. And uh, But yeah, I still got a scar on my shin. Man. It's brutal. Yeah, but I was rough. texting and walking. And when, you you're, go. when man, you're boozed man, up and you cut like yourself. A, that's true shit right there. That would have been yeah, a good yeah. B-roll for like, us, dude. man. And I was walking like at a, at a fast pace to get back home. To that was eat a or fast something. Text, right? yeah. yeah. Boom. So right it must here. have been a chick then, man. Right. It, it had to be. It had yeah. to be. Had Priority. To be. I was probably just drunk texting her. She probably did not come to my house. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't come out tonight. Yeah, yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah. Ugh. Last one, top or bottom. Day job or passion projects? Uh passion projects. Yeah. 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 That's why we're here. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, passion, yeah projects. passion projects all the way. You know, it's uh, it's good. yeah, passion projects. That's that's all I gotta say. It's good to uh, hustle. Yeah, it's, I it's think it's just it's can. just the most rewarding stuff, really. The Putting journey of there. it all. Yeah, passion projects. I think we could all agree on that one. Huh? Yeah, man. I guess I guess like you, the key is to make your day job your passion project. Yeah. Right. Deep thoughts. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh, man. This is good. I don't know. Right. I mean, shit. You got. You, I agree. You gotta do like. You gotta merge the bolts somehow. Or yeah, yeah. Eventually, or try to, or, or, or get as close. As yeah, possible. work towards yeah. it. I agree. That Sam Adams guy seems like he knows what the hell he's talking about when it comes to that. He's yeah. right. Or the guy who did the human centipede thing. I'm a doctor, and I can do this. Yeah. This I can't man. believe they made a second one. A third. A third. A third? Yeah. yeah. There's a third Sharknado one. too. Like really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Same come on. Shit, that's that's gonna be fucking yeah. nuts. If you're gonna hang out with any of the cast members from 90210. Who are you hanging out with? Oh, oh, oh man. man. That's tough. Uh, I don't remember. I don't really remember much of it except for that one dude. And that girl. Yeah. She, and the, she, the, oh, yeah. If you say, <laughs> if you say Brian girl. Austin Green, does that mean you get to hang out with Megan Fox? Oh, no. Good, good Might call. I, I play that? I'll yeah, play you that. can play that card. I'll play that card. I was going to I was gonna say this is the one time I'd say... Luke Perry? No. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Perry. That's what I was thinking of. Jason Priestley? No, no I was going to say Luke the guy from Perry. Sharknado, man. Oh, Ian Zeering. Ian Zeering. Ian Zeering. Ian Zeering. Yeah. He went to William Patterson University. Did he really? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Did so you, you go with him? You hung out no, with him? No, he's no, no, no. He's older. He's a lot older. Did he minor uh, in Sharknado studies? <laughs> what? What was... What, why am I... The, the brunette. What was her? Kelly Kapowski? No. Oh. <laughs> Shannon Dougherty? Shannon, Shannon Dougherty. Oh, yeah. 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 But no, there was... Brenda. Enough. Brenda. Wasn't she Brenda. always she always snobby? Oh, yeah. Or did yeah. she get a... What's the blonde? slut. What's the blondie one? Uh... Tori Spelling. Tori Spelling. Oh, yeah, there was another recently blonde. on a grill. 
She, her, bo- her body's hot. She though. recently fell on a grill or something. There what? was another blonde. <laughs> there was, there was. I forget her name. Oh, J- yeah. Judge, I want to say... Jenny J- Garth. Jenny Garth. Let's not forget that when Brenda left to go to college in, in Buffalo, they replaced her with... Kelly, Kelly Kapowski. Kapowski. Oh. It was a trick question. I, I tricked say, all of you. I was going to say Ted McGinley. <laughs> oh, they bring him in yeah. every time someone leaves a series. T-A-T. The move, would, the move on their part would have just kept their name being Kelly Capaldi. Tiffany Amber That would have been, been pimp. Yeah. What was her name on the show? Tiffany Amber Thiessen. No, what was her name? Tiffany. <laughs> no, it was <laughs> Amber. Was it? Amber oh, Tiffany no Thiessen. Sydney Lesperance. Our fact checker. Please fact check that. What know. was Tiffany Amber Thiessen's name on 90210? Tweet that out. And then everybody, at Dennis the Intern, hashtag eggs. <laughs> We like to dig- digitally egg people. Nice. Do <laughs> you have anybody you'd like to digitally have our PBR posse throw eggs at? Oh, man. Oh, man. That's a. What about that's Bob a... O'Touch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's find Bob O'Touch. All right, at that's Bob really O'Touch. If he exists on if Twitter, he, oh, hashtag yeah. eggs. This dude's going to get hit with eggs. He yeah. has no idea what's happening. Yeah. Oh, the chickens are coming home to roost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking of passion on. projects, Mike, what, what's, uh, what's on deck, man? Well, we're kind of in the middle of writing, and we don't have anything concrete yet, but I think just another song, maybe a few more songs, and just get some more videos yeah, going. We're, we're always working on tracks. We have a lot of different like loops built out, and uh, you know, we're toying around with a lot of different sort of etiquette ideas, whether if it's like... You know the way the public, you know, interact with new parents or parents, just in new parents in general, or if it's uh, I don't know, possibly messing around with the whole dating world. Dating world, maybe more yeah. more focused subway stuff. Uh, even yeah. though we don't want to repeat an idea, but we're just kind of tossing around a lot. We really like to focus in on what people don't like about other people too. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like I think it's a good one. He's like, oh, so, I hate it when like they eat through it. Yeah, like this. Yeah, like this. Yeah, you know, he's doing right now. This. Like that's yeah. a perfect. Yeah, this is. This, he's trying to slyly slip his phone back into his pocket. We all watched totally, him just now. Dude, I feel yeah. rejected right now. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna go home and cry yeah. because I know that he doesn't like me. <laughs> Dennis, <laughs> he's Snapchatting over here, yeah. whatever he's doing. Yeah, Jesus. totally. I was swiping right. <laughs> yes, I guess we'll see because a lot of the, a lot of times like we're on course and then things happen like we'll commute together or we'll see something like that's the next idea. Things just happen, right? So we're kind of always evolving it as we go. When you, when you're working in TV, what do you, are you editing as well? Are you an editor? I am. I'm a full time editor. Um, yeah, I work on commercials mainly, TV commercials. Okay. Um, and then you know, anything short we film. might have seen. Um, I do stuff for Little Caesars, a lot of like wacky stuff. Uh, you, you ever do uh, uh, Bud Light in, uh, commercials in but never in English, just in Asia and and Brazil? No, I wish. He's could, never done that. Would be, oh, that would be great. You couldn't be more off. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did do. I did, I did do Bud Light Super Bowl last year with Arnold Schwarzenegger, though up for whatever stuff. Oh, really? I worked on that. That's so funny because you know, did you meet Arnold? He's. I was on set. I didn't oh, meet him. Well, he's, he's here right, right now. You can meet him right now. Mike Rizzo, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mike Rizzo. Oh my God! Oh my God! So yeah. good to meet you. You edited my uh, my commercial. You're so big in person. No. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Let me tell you, <laughs> I got guns. Wow, it's such an <laughs> honor. I got, he's got guns. He does. He's got very large muscles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does. Do you remember meeting Mike on set? No, no, no. No. What was great? But that was up with the devil. Do they drink Bud Light in Germany? Where are you from? Uh, where's he from? Austria. 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 Yeah. Same thing. 1940, same thing. I wish I grew up with that yeah, guy. Yeah. He seems like such a great friend. <laughs> he was great in twins. Shouldn't yeah. he run? Like, why aren't you, Arnold? Why aren't you? Did he leave yet? Is he still here? Why isn't Arnold? Arnold, why are you not running for president? That should happen. No, I'm just banging my uh, my house uh, my house guest. No, who wasn't? Uh, your ha- your maid. Uh, my maid. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys? Do you guys want to? If you know, play moderator. Yeah. Right? You want to ask maybe Donald Trump or, or Arnold Schwarzenegger a question uh, why, you know, about the presidency and what, what they plan on doing, or even Hillary Clinton. Or <laughs> oh. let's just say Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad was wrong. Right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, for him, why would he put that video about the teasing? I got so excited about the show thing that he was promoting. Who was? The Breaking Bad guy. Oh, Jesse Pinkman? Yeah. He put out a teaser about like a show that he was doing, Breaking Bad thing, and... Yo, it's like yeah, it's like I'm just teasing people, bitch. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm Not trying his to get own spinoff. Yeah, I just like yo, <laughs> trying to get people to buy meth, and, <laughs> and it's like yo, tease this, bitch. Yo, Mr. White, you dead? Why are you always asking for Mr. White? He's not here. <laughs> he's, he's, he's my, he's my friend, bitch. Uh, <laughs> I, love that. I, love I love that. I love that. Jesse Pinkman, everybody. Nice, nice. Yeah, Mike, you're a bitch. <laughs> 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 what what was he teasing? He was something I just read recently about like it was something he was he did a YouTube video about his own 
his own Breaking Bad thing or his own spinoff Jesse show or oh, something. Oh, like Better Call Saul. Yeah, it was his own thing. Which is and, great. And everyone thought it was a real thing and he was just joking. Oh. And everyone's like, you're a fucking asshole. Like, <laughs> yeah. don't ever fucking tease me. Like, like it, was, it was like a big backlash on <laughs> don't, Twitter. Don't tease me. Yeah, but who takes it that? Like, I love that show. But like, yeah, if I, mean, I watch it, I'd be like, weird. that's pretty funny. I'm not going to like go like, I can't believe you did this to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It was a little, I think it was a little much, but I don't know. <laughs> What was the next thing he did? He did something with Cars. Need for Speed. Need for Any speed. good? Yeah. Was it a movie or a show? It. it was a movie. It was. I, I didn't see it, actually. I feel like if he doesn't reprise Jesse Pinkman on Better Call Saul or a spinoff, I don't think there's a spinoff for him. Uh, uh, that yeah, character. So. That well, isn't character. It a pre- Maybe not that Better character. Better Call Saul's a prequel, isn't it? Well, right now yeah, it is, yeah. but it'll it'll surpass, I think, or at least catch up. I mean, to Aaron Paul, he's, he's a pretty good actor, actually, though. Like he's a good actor. Yeah. So I mean, he's, he'll be in he'll be in stuff. I but mean, he, oh, you just mean reprising as that role, Jesse Jesse Pinkman. Oh right? yeah. I mean, they hired him for like one episode to. Yeah. They only hired him to replace Mike. The security guard couldn't be there to shoot an episode, so they wrote in. No, Jesse. I'm totally sixty percent in this. That was Mike. <laughs> Jesse or was Saul. In the- Forget Saul. it. Forget everything I just said. Yeah. I totally just... He, he was written in the first season, but they were going to kill him off. They were going to kill him yeah, off. And absolutely. they didn't because people liked him so much. Saul comes from Mike, the security guard. Couldn't be on set, so they had to replace him with another character, and that's how Saul was born. That's 60% too. I don't know. Fact check that. <laughs> Bob Odenkirk. He was a writer for he's, SNL. He's awesome. Back yeah. in the day. It's great. Yeah. Do you guys watch Better Call Saul? I haven't I seen haven't, it yet. No. Oh, dude, it's good. It's awesome. Yeah. It's, yeah, all, yeah, it's arguably better than Breaking Bad. Well, I, one season so far. Okay, well, the first season is arguably better than the first season of Breaking Bad. Mm. Breaking Bad is really good. I love it's the really qualifier, good. arguably. Is that everything <laughs> you say? That. Arguably, what the do you moon watch, is What do you watch it. first? Uh, wow, that's that, a, you could watch Breaking Bad first, but you wouldn't get the Easter eggs. I see. You yeah. Because uh, Better Call Saul now, will he catch so He does up. 60% of that. You could watch Better Call Saul first, but you won't get the Easter eggs. That's what I just gotcha, said. Got gotcha. you. No, you said you could watch Breaking Bad first. No. No, that's not what I said. And I played the music in the beginning of the show, too, man. Wait, Yo, you, you said okay? Breaking Bad. He said Breaking Bad. You're I've had a long too much time in the gym. You I've need had to a start long eating day. carbs. I've had a long day. <laughs> <laughs> about, I ate plenty of carbs. Well, right, because Better Call Saul is a sequel, so the Easter eggs no. would be. No, it's, it's a, a prequel. prequel. Oh, sorry, sorry. Prequel, prequel. I could have sworn you said Breaking Bad. Yeah, I'm confused. Because you missed the Easter eggs. The Easter eggs are in Breaking Bad. You would watch. No. 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 Other way around. Yeah. Oh, right. my God. For example. Yeah, I'm with you. Right? Yes. Yeah. You said. Cut uh, the, hey, listen, listen. You can you're you're listening can to this right it? now. Let's it's a, it's it, a podcast. Hit pause. Like go. Just put your finger on that little line. <laughs> scroll back. There's actually a button that's a little circle that says 15 in it. On the left, hit that. It'll go back 15 seconds. Yeah. And hear what I said. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you. Said Once that. I say it and you hear I'm right, skip over what I'm saying right now by the other 15 second on the right hand side. <laughs> See how that works. Moving on. That's some iTunes stuff. <laughs> All right, like what time I, travel. That was confusing. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm gonna do right now is uh, we're gonna stop this show in theory. And then pick it back up. What you're, we're about to do is play PBR Puppetry. We're only going to put it up on our Patreon and our YouTube channel. Um, so that's where you're going to see it. I'm going to cut it out of this episode. If you want to see it, go check out our YouTube channel. Derek, where can you find that? Uh, you can find that at YouTube.com slash PBR Podcast. It's actually Pizza Beer Revolution on YouTube. But you can find it off our website, PBRPodcast.com. Oh, didn't switch yet. No. So yeah, YouTube.com slash Pizza Beer Revolution. Um, <laughs> so guys, here's uh, how the game's going to go. You want to explain it? It's kind of your game. It's kind of your child. Yeah, uh, so basically, for uh, for the viewing audience, one of our cameras will go out, and uh, I'll be a character, right? And I'll be talking and say, uh, you know, Mike will have to lip sync me. Right, you want to go across? I don't know. What yeah. do you want to do? Right? So, all right, so when Derek goes, basically we're going to pick out of this cup, there are topics. So Derek's going to pick out a topic, and his topic will be, per se, picking, picking, picking. I tell, uh, uh, what oh, yeah, it? tell everyone, right? Yeah, tell, Donald Trump. All right, so Derek's topic is going to be Donald Trump. He's going to count off the five. Everybody's camera is going to go black but yours. Okay. You're going to have to keep up with his mouth trying to puppetry Mimic what me. he's saying. Cool. Everybody get how, to, get how the game is played? Got so it. We're going to round table it. You and I will go off each other. And Mike and Derek. So you want to count it off? <laughs> so I can you count off the five and all the cameras go black. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, I'm Donald Trump. Here's the deal. I'm running for president, and I have a big, big thing on my head that is hair. But it's not a toupee. So I will end up being president of the United States of America. And you, you, you are going to vote for me. 
You're fired. Right. <laughs> you got the dentist? That's great. <laughs> That's great. It's not that easy, right? That's tough. I, I was feeding off of your, like, I, I tried yeah, to, like, extend good. it. Can your keep hands it, like, were good. I like how your, uh, your tactic was you started to actually save Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah I, I, I did. I, it helped, I I, actually. I thought I, I was I, hearing, I, like, reverb. I, 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 yeah, they'll go, they'll go now, right? Uh, so, uh, Mike, you're going to pick a topic. Your topic is? Did I tell you? Yeah. Tell Foo the world. Fighters. Foo Fighters, my Foo, favorite. The Foo Fighters and Derek, it's, you're going to pop a tree. <laughs> okay. Dennis, the intern, you're going to let them go to about uh, 40 40, seconds? 45 seconds. 45 <laughs> seconds. And they'll ring the bell when it's up. Ca oh. Count it off. You can go Five, through. four, three, two, one. Hey, it's Dave Grohl here, and uh, I just played this show, and it was amazing. And I fell off the stage, and I hurt my leg, and I was on the ground, and like everybody was like <laughs> looking at the screen. And I didn't know what to do because all these fans were watching, and it was a live show. Then I went to the hospital, and I came back to the show and did it for my fans, for you, because <laughs> I love you, the fans. I'm Dave Grohl, and I'm a drummer, and I am a singer, and I'm everything. <laughs> Damn it, hit the bell, Dan. You got 45 seconds. <laughs> no, 30 seconds. Is good. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. That was good. I think 30 is a good. It's not, yeah, 30 seconds. 30 30 seconds. I ran out of material. It's not that, that easy, right, man? <laughs> I was waiting for you to like, quote some, like, Mo song lines or no, something. Yeah, no, oh, no. One last thing before I yeah, quit. Exactly. I never wanted any more. And the monkey wrench. Yeah. Oh, I picked one, but I don't know anything about it. Should I go with it anyway? No, That's yeah, what I'm course. worried about. Yeah, I'm ready to pick a topic you gotta, that I don't know about. You just got to go with it. Well, well, first, confess your ignorance. What was it you don't know anything about? Uh, I'm going to go with the second one I picked. What was the first well, one? Well, this might be a good one for him, so I'll put it back in. I'll tell you later. And at the end, remind yeah. me. Remind I'll, me. I'll remind so, you. Uh, so my, uh, my topic is... Politically correct emojis. Oh, <laughs> shit. Man, that's tough. So I have to be you, right? Yep. All right. All right. Can and you play the you? camera? <laughs> All right. In three, two, one. So I got this new iPhone, man, and I was all excited, but I really had to take a shit. So I went to the bathroom, took out the iPhone, and I opened up my text messaging, and there were new emojis on it, man! Some of them were <laughs> black, some of them were yellow, but what's up with the medium brown one, man? You have, like, a medium brown fist, you have, like, a medium brown finger, you can have medium brown everything, but... Who's medium brown? Where's my color? It's not politically incorrect. <laughs> that was great. Man, he was, that was really wow. good. Very animated. That was awesome. Uh, you were like a Muppet. That was I great. Solid. I need to work out. Uh, it's, it's, it's tough, man. I'm this, out of breath. This part is oh, terrible. <laughs> Who does this one? I do? Oh, no, it's him. It's him. <laughs> Oh, he, he picked my he, yeah, he picked right. hipsters. Hipsters, <laughs> yeah, perfect. I guess I can tell you now that last one I, I did, chose not to do was Game of Thrones. Oh, oh yeah. You guys anybody, watch? Anybody? I don't. I want oh, to. Oh. I haven't been following. You know, I I no. I I start. I saw oh. the first season, but I haven't oh, seen it. Model. I know. Everybody I heard I know. somebody just died, and there was a, a lot of in yeah. Brooklyn. Spoilers. Probably oh. started by hipster. 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 <laughs> so so I'm gonna do this in the POV or perspective of a hipster. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, I just moved here into Bedford Avenue on Williamsburg, and wow, I have a condo, and I have a cat, and I have a lot of tofu and sausage <laughs> in my fridge, as well as some IPA beer that I made myself. Yeah, life is great, and I never have to worry about taking the train to work because I have a hoverboard. <laughs> I lost it, man. I lost it. I was good for a minute, but I lost it. Because <laughs> Sorry, you had, you had these going hover, on. Like, that's tough. Ho hoverboard, bro. Got like, a hoverboard. <laughs> I want a hoverboard. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> I did not, I was not expecting a hoverboard. I was that really was trying to get it to carry. That's a tough Would one. Hipsters ruin hoverboards, though? Uh -huh. I just feel Great like band name right they there. They better not. They'll probably have that Michael J. Fox thing before yeah. we do. Yo, straight up, I saw a hipster with, with the Michael J. Fox n Nikes. Oh, that tie oh, up. With the right. power laces? Yeah, with the power. I don't know. What the, but, like, these were them, and I don't, who knows how much he paid for them. But I was wow. just like, you, what are you doing, dude? That's great. Like, <laughs> well, that's uh, that's PBR puppetry. What do you guys think? That was I fun. love that. That's that great. Really it's a nerve-wracking game, right, yeah. man? Yeah. It's, it's a lot like, harder than you think. You can check that out on our YouTube channel. It'll be on our, our, our uh, website, pbrpodcast.com. You can check that out. Um, that will not be on the audio episode. Yeah, because it's a visual. We used to keep it on the audio episode, but then it was like, really? Or yeah. should we keep it on the audio episode? We can do whatever the hell we want to do. That's true. I might leave it and I might take it out. You got to look at how long the episode's going. 
Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're a little micro machine yeah, guy. You know. like, like, I think me making fun of your pauses really just got to your head. You just did the Mike Rizzo. You threw as many words in yeah. as you could. I don't pause. You do. I don't pause. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Have you guys ever seen Fast Lane Daily? No. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna make an edit here. Have you guys ever seen Fast Lane Daily? Yes. yes. <laughs> that's the show. That's the show you host. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. Yeah, you ever yeah. hear him <laughs> intro it? I don't know the pauses. I do, <laughs> dude. I don't even. I don't know what you're talking about. You got to take pauses when you're when you're talking when you're doing something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was the end of a thought. <laughs> Uh, process. <laughs> <laughs> I also have a tactic now. When, when I get him worked up about it, I just stop talking because uh-huh. he's then forced to talk. Is that you, Dennis? Oh, Dennis. Dennis. Oh, Dennis. God. I told you to shut that shit. Who yeah. could possibly? Is it Terry? On. Is it Terry the intern? It's not Terry. Oh. <sighs> so it's the pizzeria. It is the pizzeria. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh are we about to freestyle? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I like to ask all our guests two questions to this. What's when is the last time you've heard that sound? What does it mean to you, right? Uh, More, and then <laughs> wait, there's a third question. Oh. Do you, <laughs> oh. do you remember your AOL Instant Messenger screen name? Oh man, I do. Yeah. Yeah. All right, mine was Deftones Five Nine. Nice, because <laughs> I love the Deftones. I was into heavy metal and hard rock. And where's the Five Nine come in? Five Nine, I have no idea. There's, There's only forty nine <laughs> other Deftones. Yeah, I think it was just random. <laughs> Available. Suggested you. Yeah, or 58 other. Yeah, exactly. You were 58, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um, I remember it. Yeah, uh, it's a, it's an AOL or a modem, a modem dial-up. When that shit failed, it was so sad. Oh when it God. wouldn't connect, you didn't remember that, and then it just it's wouldn't connect. You have to You'd watch the little icons going like it's an so AOL bad. Bad. Yeah. Do, you, do you remember your AOL? Yeah, I had two. I had Snoogan's Ten and then Drugs for the Kids. Oh, that's Drugs a re- reference through yeah. a mole rats, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yes. Love, I we love were that huge stuff on mole rats. Yeah, yeah. That's those guys are from right over here, Red Bank. We actually that's said awesome. that we're like Red Bank, Kevin yeah. Smith. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's so funny, man. Yeah, Snoogan's totally. yeah. Snoogan's Snoogan? Ten. I you remember, still have it? I remember my parents were like, "Be be careful about going into those chat rooms. <laughs> you, don't yeah. want, yeah. you don't want someone to digitally touch your bobo." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that uh, was definitely said. Yeah, emoji. Especially like, this kid. Don't send pictures of your bobo. <laughs> yeah, he was yeah. very quick to get naked in those rooms too. <laughs> 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 the a- a- age, sex, location check. Yeah, he was very quick. <laughs> you see them all clear out the users. <laughs> there was no video conferencing then. <laughs> I know. Deftones fifty nine. Yeah. Left the room. <laughs> yeah. Deftones, yeah. Deftones exactly. 60 has entered. <laughs> so this Bob O'Touch <laughs> has entered the room. <laughs> oh, dude. A race to make the Twitter handle Bob O'Touch. Bob I know. O'Touch. Right? Got De- Dennis, Dennis, get on that right now. We can sell it to them. <laughs> uh, so that, that music uh, indicates the segment we like to call the armchair futurist, right? In the year 2050, this show is all about the revolution of our guests, right? So in the year 2050, when you're sitting back in your reclining chairs looking at your industry, uh, what does it look like? Mm. That's dark. (laughs) It's a dark place. I mean, a lot of people say that the music industry, which is sort of what Bobo Touch is involved in, will put out a release eventually of just like all the bad music, like the actual songs. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be called Low Level Dreams. And so since I, on you know, outside of Bobo Touch with music, focus on that so much, I feel like it's just changing major labels or signing Vine artists, which is also great and success that way. But they also don't know what to do. And streaming service are competing now with the Apple and the title thing and all that stuff. Well, you, music labels are signing Vine? Artists? Yeah, they're signing. Are, they doing, are, are these people doing music on Vine? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're, okay. Yeah, they're doing yeah. like, like, like YouTube seconds. sensation. Yeah, and Vine sensation. Sensation artists. How do, how do you feel about them? I mean, I definitely think, you know, growing up, you know, we were just talking about this the other day. We had a few people we listened to or fans of, you know, or actors. And some people, they tweet back or they retweet something you did a long time ago. And we didn't have that access when we were all growing up to nah, be like, I'm going to tweet yeah. that guy that I listened to or that this actor and they like it and retweet it. It's almost like, holy shit, like they acknowledged it, right? So I think at that point, it's it's really amazing. And the fact that people can instantly go, you know, from point A to point B with a phone and instantly be discovered with shitty audio and then brought into a studio, it's great. Uh, but at the same time, there is that oversaturated thing. And it goes back to what you were saying with the... the um, 
you know, Facebook news upload thing. There's this is very instant. Well, I don't know where the music industry is going. You know, people, I remember touring a lot and certain cities hurt more because of the economy a few years ago, but that has changed. But like, that's still sort of a, a way to make music and for film, I'm sure everything's sort of getting more digital. Yeah, everything with film. I mean, I, I'm speaking really from my last few films and uh, for TV, everything, when I first started my job um, in commercials, was we were, there was tons of film jobs, like th Super 35, 16 millimeter and now everything is just all digital like they shoot on Ari Alexas red cameras huge mm -hmm. you know like you know just all like you know like 4k 5k cameras and it's great and all um so every you know but it sucks because film you know is what I was taught in school and it's a beautiful format and everything yeah. but it's just not practical um, and now we're seeing more jobs that are on DSLRs and even GoPro has a great look to it. It's like modern and slick. Mm -hmm. So it, it's changing with just more accessibility and even people who um, now pe more people getting noticed too just by doing their own thing. Yeah, and, more popular. and that, there's also more jobs like because mm -hmm. I'm in your world, right? And yeah. com coming, I'm probably a little, bit a little bit older than you. So coming out of school and everything, you either worked in television, radio, or or film mm -hmm. like there was no other anywhere else to work <clears throat> excuse me yeah. so now when you come out like uh, you know there are social media managers for any said position you know um like i do some work for new york rangers and my boss there is a social media manager of the new york rangers he manages all of their web content for youtube for facebook instagram Twitter. like that didn't exist man because right. these gopros didn't exist right so in the year yeah. like in tw like look trying to look at that that that's only our lifetime that we've experienced this going from film to the GoPro for, to a memory card, right? Exactly. So in 2050, like, where where what is it going to look like? Can you even like fathom that? Yeah, it's insane. I mean, I hope technology benefits the overall experience or analog or whatever like uh, yeah. real experience it is. Whether if it's like it's a projection on the wall or speakers that aren't even visible or. Who knows what the fuck is going yeah. on? Right. Yeah. Microsoft just launched their HoloLens. Have you yeah. seen this thing yet? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This guy was playing Minecraft, and through his lens, it looked like it was popping up right out of a table. Like oh it was a God. fully interactive 3D holographic environment, and it's only a matter of time. And someone was in that environment playing with him. It was you have to see the video. It's crazy. So imagining that maybe <laughs> and VR, well, yeah. pretty soon in you're going to be in virtual full reality. Yeah. Is, I could yeah. see that for sure being a you thing. Know, I'd totally put on an Oculus Rift and like <laughs> fuck the air. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next video, actually. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's great. Uh, oh, Bobo Touch. <laughs> Bobo Touch. <laughs> Bobo Touch. Uh, guys, thank you so much for coming down, oh, man. We really you. appreciate yeah, it. On the way out, is there anything you want to plug? Um, I guess just go to uh, our new video, Texting and Walking, that yeah. we're heavily pushing right now. Check it out Bobo and stay tuned for updates. Yeah. Dennis. Check me out. Dennis the Intern on Twitter. <laughs> we'll follow and you check tonight. check out my boy, Bobo Touch. Derek <laughs> <laughs> Day. Yeah, make sure you uh, go check these guys out. They're really funny. BoboTouch.com. Um, and also... <laughs> Bobo Touch. Bobo. Bobo. I know. <laughs> I know. I was in Bobo Touch. You said Bobo Touch. I know because that's what we've been saying all night. Oh, right, it's right, fun. Right. It's like Bobo. <laughs> Hashtag carbs. Bobo Touch. All right. Listen. Um, <laughs> check us out on uh, check us out on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Pizza Beer Revolution and uh, all our social media at PBR Podcast. PBR Podcast. You can find us on the web, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Us. Give us some love. We would love you back, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. See you. <laughs>